So how does one become free? How does one let go of judgment, let go of hate, anger, and just go into that love state, that very state of that's very high, that's just love, is through that freedom of knowing that you cannot prove anything in this world and the only thing you can prove is yourself. The only thing you can prove is that you are here. That's it. And the reason that I don't give a fuck what you think about me is the same reason that I don't give a fuck what I think about myself. Because it's just an opinion and there is no, no right or wrong to reality. There's an up and there's a down. All of life is creation and dying. That's what happens. Creation and death all the time. So creation can be described by up and then death can be described by down, right? It can also be uh, masculine or feminine energy, positive, negative, right? That's literally what that means. There's just positive and negative. There's just a constant flow, a constant change, a constant movement, right? And one of them cannot exist. You could literally not go up. You could literally not go up if you could not go down. If you erase the other one, the other one just disappears because they come together. It's it's a double-edged sword. What does a double-edged sword mean? It means if you got a fucking store, if I'm gonna stab you, this side's gonna cut the shit out of you and this side's gonna cut the shit out of you. You're gonna cut up on both fucking sides one way or the other, right? There is no good or bad. So when I say that, when I speak, I'm not telling you to even do any of what I'm saying. I'm not even saying that I'm correct. I'm literally just telling you how I think and what I believe. And this is my life. My life is pretty cool. I like it. I love my life. I love myself so much. I love, the only way I can love my life is because I love myself so much, so fucking deeply. And the more that I love myself, the more that I understand myself, the more I understand myself, the more I realize like, there's nothing to fear, literally. There's nothing to fear. Because part of that knowing is that knowing that you are God, right? And when you think like, what? How could you even say something like that? Okay, well, the reason I can say that, I'm gonna keep this on, it's actually <laughs> kind of cold. <laughs> the reason I can say this is because when I say you, when I say me, when I say this, that, when I say the floor, the sky, the dirt, It's because God is everything, right? God has no one shape, right? Before there was nothing, and then there was something, right? And the reason there was that something is because God takes on all of those, right? He takes on all of those shapes. He's all of these shapes at once, right? He cannot be contained into the being of, of one thing. When I, when I say this, it really means everything, right? When I say me, I'm saying everything, right? Because there is only one thing and the only thing there, it, that there is, is God. God is literally the only thing that exists. So I mean that that's you, that you are a thought of God, you are that, that, that's what I think I am. I think I am a thought inside of God's mind, right? And I think I have no real control in my life. And all of this is happening because God planned it and God made sure that it happened in it. And I should not be so, like there is no meaning of life if I'm only a thought of God. That's how I used to be. I used to be like, get a little bit depressed and shit because I would think that there's no point to life because I'm just a thought inside of God's mind. Um, then I realized that there's no point in me fighting it. You cannot think you're not, you can't focus on shit that you can't change. So if I can't change it, just live it. And then I was like, oh shit, that's the meaning of life to just live it, to just fucking do it, to just to just, to just be. And act as if you have that choice because God gave you that choice to think you had choice. 
It's a choice. Other people, other creatures don't have that choice. Other objects don't have that choice. You have the choice to think you're a choice. This table, this, this couch that I'm sitting on, this clothes that I'm wearing, it did not choose to be on a Mexican, right? This, this, this chair was not like, you know what? Some, some fucking, some leather was like, you know what? I've always wanted to get sat on by some Mexican's ass. Like, fuck, that shit be feels so good, right? No fucking piece of leather ever said that. But that's what happened to it, right? But I chose to be in this room and I chose to be recording this and I chose this. You, you have that freedom of choice. Which, the choice of to think you have choice, even though you don't have choice because of, and you, everything is already been written and everything already exists. Everything that will exist does exist already right and that's sort of hard to believe and to think about but it's very true because it's like this these snapshots these pictures right in film we call it moving images right that's a video a moving images a bunch of images and that's what we're going through all these images slowly right so that's what we can also do interesting things like going into parallel universes to a uh, parallel universe that we wake up early or a parallel universe where we have a girlfriend things like that and you think how can you even do that well that's because every single moment that occurred right after the other one just became the past this like as i'm speaking it's becoming the past and what i'm about to say is becoming the future right so it's like, it's like, a, it's like, poof, and here's the past, here's the future, here's everything else, but we're in the poof, 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 poof. Every single movement is literally just a continuous shift into another parallel reality because I can't reach it. A parallel reality is one that you cannot go to. So I can literally not go to that. I, I cannot go to it anymore. So that's why every single moment is a parallel reality. That I, and it all exists already so if I want to connect with a parallel reality of myself that you know woke up early and went to the gym I would I would visualize it I would make it real in my mind I would make it like like it already like it's happening and then I would just go about my life that's literally it and I would walk as if I was in that dimension right I because well it's gonna happen is You're affecting your future after that, literally. So you raise your vibration. You're like, I want to get in touch with this part of myself, this reality where this happens. And you start to attract all of that after that, all of that. Now, if you were to stay in the vibration that you are right now, you're going to continue to attract parallel universes that are like that. But if you don't, if you... But well, whatever, look, just, just live life. Just that, that's it. And there's nothing to fear that everything is going to be okay. Every single thing is going to be okay. You are God. Like, you know, why are you afraid? So, you know, your, your ego, that is the part that was created inside of God. It was like a box of certainty. This is a box of certainty, right? This is God. And then this little box of uncertainty was created. Here's God, probably much bigger. And then here's like a little you, like, you know, a little hole, right? Compared to... And that is this piece of God that tricked... This God literally tricked himself into believing that he was this. That's the only way he could do it, right? So that exactly is the devil. That is what the devil is. The devil is a trickster. The, tr the devil is a... Um, he, just, he, he puts disguises on, right? He's a, He's a magician. And that is an aspect of God. That is an aspect of God. And God is so powerful. 
God is incredibly powerful. And when you realize who you really are, there is nothing to be feared. And you can go out and you can live and you can create and you can build and grow at the pace that you were meant to, to grow. No longer hiding back, no longer holding back punches, no longer being afraid of what other judgments just go and live. And that is the secret to life. Just go and live. If you can take that with you, take that with you. I want you to write that down. I actually want you to write that down. The secret to life is to just live. I want you to write that down. And I want you to do it. <laughs>